Monday, April the 17th, and I am going back to my nine to five. I've been off since the fourth, so you do the math. <sighs> I woke up today with the same energy I had on my last day of work. Like, ugh, I gotta go back to this place, which lets me know I need out. But anyways. Oh, hey guys, and happy Monthsley. But how y'all doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, to my YouTube family, my squad, my crew. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna call you guys yet, but you know who I'm talking about. To my subscribers, thanks for clicking on this video and coming back. And to anyone new, thanks for clicking on the video as well. You know, stick around. But, but I just finished up, are y'all all right? I don't know. But I just finished up with my nine to five and now I am on my way to UPS to return this um, microphone that I purchased on Amazon. I purchased this microphone for my camera cause I wanted to, you know, start making some different kind of like videos, some content or whatever. Long story short, basically, when I went to Boston, I wanted to play Never Have I Ever or Truth or Drink with my brother, which is why I ordered this microphone. But, yo, the microphone, like, it's too much to take out. I don't have the jack or the input to, like, snap it in. Like, only thing I see on my camera to insert is, like, a HDMI and a USB cord, I believe. Um, but this has like a headphone like jack like something like this I don't got that so I actually purchased two long story but I'm about to go to UPS drop this off so I can get my money back and then that's that <laughs> but alright y'all see ya alright y'all made it well, that was pretty painless. I've never returned anything I purchased from Amazon. I typically, you know, keep it, like, like it, or I just take the L. Um, but this one, I was not taking the L because it was $20 and I purchased two and neither of them worked. So, just returned one and I'll return the other one sometime this week. Um... But yeah, it was really simple and easy. Like, literally just had to walk up to the counter. Um, the worker scanned the QR code, and that was it. All right, Amazon, go ahead with your painless return. But I'm about to head home, finish my hair. I have six braids left, and then apply for at least three jobs. And then I'm going to bed. Eat, shower, all that other stuff. But yeah. Later. Oh, hey guys. Today is Tuesday. And I am finished with my 9 to 5. And I am on my way to Whole Foods. So yeah. I am on my way to Whole Foods. To pick up some meat. Because... <laughs> You know, after vacation, it's reality. And yeah, so I basically purchase all my meat from Whole Foods and then I'll like sort it, season it, whatever, and freeze it. But yeah, if I don't go to Whole Foods tonight, I won't have food to cook for dinner. But more importantly, I won't have lunch for tomorrow. And if I don't have lunch for tomorrow, I'm going to have to spend money. And I don't want to do that. So. Let's go to Whole Foods. Good 
kidding you? Can I have um, two pounds of the cutlets that's on sale? Two pounds of the party wings? And um, the breast as well. Good morning, y'all. Today is Wednesday, and I'm on my way to my nine to five. But before I go there, I had to stop and get some gas. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but there's kind of a gas shortage down here in Florida because of all the rain we had. So gas stations literally just don't have gas. Just prompting everybody to like, you know, go out and get some because at the same time we also need gas because you know whatever. But this gas station is nuts. Like, did y'all see that line? That was one line to get into one way into the gas station. There's also like a back way, another way. I was on the opposite side, but yeah, there's basically a line wrapped around to enter into the gas station on both sides. But thankfully I got my gas and now I'm on my way to my nine to five. Later y'all. Oh, hey y'all off from my nine to five and now on my way to walmart i want to start making my own caramel frap so i'm about to go to walmart and pick up some of the ingredients as well as some sugar and um there were two things i was going for that i really really needed it was sugar it's sugar and Damn, what's the other thing I need? I wrote it down on my list, but I was just trying to remember. But that's why I wrote it down on my list. But whatever. Let's go to Walmart. Made it. Now I gotta find a cart. Because it's clearly none available. I mean, is anybody collecting carts today? Alright, let's try this again. Oh, hey guys! Back home from Walmart. It was a really quick trip. Like, I didn't do shopping shopping. I went because I needed vinegar and sugar. Vinegar because I need to clean my meat that I purchased yesterday. And then sugar because I drink tea every morning and I just needed sugar because I don't have any more. So yeah, it wasn't like a lot, a lot of shopping. But I'll show you guys what I got before I end the vlog for today. So this is what I got. I had already started to put my sugar away, but um, I keep my sugar in Ziploc bags. I don't know if it's just Florida, but the last two apartments I lived in, ants always found their way to my sugar. And I like kept it in a container where like, you know, you keep flour and stuff like that. But literally the last two apartments I lived in, ants found their way to my sugar and I'm, I was over it. So now I'll put it in Ziploc bags and I haven't had any problems at this apartment. So that's that. But that's the vinegar. I got some tea, um, some instant coffee because I wanna start making um, my caramel fraps at home. So that's what that's for. Some ass wipes and a phone case. And I spent um, 21 $21, 22 21 Yeah, rounded off 22 So I felt like I did good for Walmart. But yeah, <laughs> see y'all tomorrow. Oh, hey y'all, and happy 420 Thursday. I just finished with my nine to five and now I'm about to go to Sephora because y'all know they got their sale going on and I'm about to pick up a couple of things. Lego. Oh, 
hey y'all i am back home oh am i all right let me see let me see but anyways i am back home from sephora and actually the sephora that i originally went into it was a small sephora and they didn't have like what i wanted so i ended up going to another one and when i went to another one i linked up with a friend and had a drink so yeah this is what i got from sephora i got the urban decay long lasting makeup setting spray i heard this is really really good um especially for like hot weather and stuff like that and uh, with me being in florida like wearing makeup sometimes i just don't because it's just so hot outside that i'm like it's just gonna melt off my face so i got the little um <clears throat> I got the smaller version. I saw that it came in a big one, but I'm going to test this out, see what it's giving. I got a mask um, brush applicator. I ordered a mask from um, this company last Saturday, and hopefully it comes in the mail pretty soon. Um, I placed the order on Saturday, and well, this doesn't have anything to do with the Sephora thing, but again i placed the order with this girl on saturday i wasn't expecting it to get shipped out you know because it's saturday um monday tuesday wednesday mm -mm, nothing so yesterday i sent her an email like hey you know i'm just wondering when i'm gonna receive my stuff and she said it'll be three to five business days and today is now day four and i still haven't received the tracking number so if i don't receive a tracking number by the end of tomorrow i'm really gonna be upset and yeah but small businesses y'all just got to do better like literally waiting to the fifth day to ship out somebody's order it's giving scam like you don't have the item or you're trying to find the item or i don't i don't know i i just want what i paid for and the last thing i got from sephora is this micro smooth powder i heard it's supposed to like set the look honey so this is what I got, and I got it in the color almond. So yeah, that was my little Sephora pickup. Not too much. It was like maybe thirty something dollars um, with the sale and stuff like that going on. But yeah. So like the funny part is with Sephora, I <laughs> the first thing that I wrote down on my list was to get their lip scrub. And while I was in line. First of all, it took me forever to find a lip scrub inside the store. And when I did find it, I picked it up. So, once I'm in line waiting to get rung up, I'm like, let me look at the reviews for this. And honey, all the reviews for the lip scrub were bad. They said that it was giving like a waxy feel to it. And I don't got time for it. But it's just so random and funny that that was the first thing that was on my list to get. Like, I want a lip scrub to get, you know... I got the smoker's lips and I want the pink lips. But <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't end up getting that because of the bad reviews and um, left that right there. But I'm happy with the rest of the stuff I got. That's my Sephora haul. And I'm ending the vlog here. And of course, if you stay this long, honey, you might as well subscribe if you have not already and make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thank you. See y'all in the next video. Later. It's not that I don't